is, a, is my habit in the Bible? Yes. I have to explain all that to you. Uh, uh, Deuteronomy 18, 18? In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse number 18. In Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 18. It reads, I will raise them up a prophet. A prophet from their brethren. Like unto thee, and I will put my words in his mouth. And he shall speak all that I command him. Takbir! 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 Allahu Akbar! This is the verse the Muhammadan was talking about. This is the name book, the name of the book, chapter 18, verse number 18. I mean, Abdul, are you dumb or you stupid? Are you crazy? Are you hilarious? You are. <laughs> it says, it says, I will raise up from them. <laughs> from them. <laughs> from, from the Jews. Is your prophet a Jew? Seriously, Muslims, is your prophet Muhammad a Jew? You can't think that he's talking about Muhammad. This is a verse been said for the Jews. Speaking to the Jews, I will raise from between you, Jews, is your prophet Muhammad a Jew? Very good question. Hmm? Is he? Is he? Come on, say it, say it, say it, say it, please, please say it. Let me know, Chris, what did you do? it says from, from, from one, from them, one from them, and then, a prophet like you from among their brothers are you Muslims or brothers are you Muslims is the Arab our brothers you know the the, <clears throat> the the funny the Muslims even don't read their Quran I do agree with you because even their stupid Quran says the following let us go to the Quran and laugh should we I think we should because you know uh, uh, th things become more sensitive when we open the Quran for the Abdul. Uh, look what the Quran uh, says about prophets. How Allah He sent the prophets supposedly. This is the chapter, <clears throat> chapter fourteen, verse number four. Huh? Chapter fourteen, verse number four. The one is talking is Allah. Muslims, this is not our book. This is your book. All right? You can choose any translation you wish. No problem. Let me zoom in. We sent not a messenger except to teach in the language of his people, his own people. That, Abdul, that verse you are talking about from the Old Testament speaking to the Jews. So in order for Muhammad to be a prophet for the Jews, he have to be from the Jews and he speak the language of the Jews. And Allah in the Quran, in the time of Muhammad, he is saying, we never send, never ever send a messenger unless he is from the people, which means he was sent to a mess messenger from the nation to that nation, speaking the language of his own nation. Muhammad is not from the Jews. He don't speak the language of the Jews. And this is against the teaching of the Quran. So I'm not sure who is the stupid one who told you. I, it, it, I think the one who started this is Didat because Didat. Believe me, you got to. You know, he spent his time trying to find the, the name of his prophet in the Bible, but he never read his Quran. I do agree with you. You see, those people, they are memorizing. They don't understand even what they are memorizing. Isn't it saying clearly that I never ever sent? And this is a verse was given to Muhammad in the time of Muhammad, supposedly from his God by the deliver, the delivery boy. Uh, his name is Jibreel. Jibreel come to Muhammad's door. Hold on. Open the door. Hold on, hold on, Jibreel. I'm just eating hummus. Open. It's very important. Come on, I'm eating hummus. Just wait. No, you cannot, you cannot share hummus with everybody. No, Muhammad opened the door. And Jibreel, he said to him, We send not a messenger except to teach in language of his own people. 
Muhammad, he said, I speak Arabic, I swear by Allah, I'm speaking Arabic. He said, we heard you speaking to the Jews. Don't you know that Quran said, speak to the Jews, not in their language, because you have to speak in your language, and you have to be from the Jews in order to preach to the Jews. I mean, all the story here in the Hadith, or the story that the, the Quran, which is a Hadith, by the way, is contradicting the whole story and whole idea of Muslims saying that Muhammad is international messenger. How he is an international messenger, but yet the Quran says, we never send a messenger unless he speak the language of his own people. Which means, in order for Muhammad to be an international language, international messenger, he have to be a person who speak all languages in the world. Do we have any Muslim here disagree? Hello? You know, it's um, it's a complicated situation, to be honest. Yes, okay, so as you can see, me personally, I'm a bit confused and lost myself at this point because it's a bit of a peak situation. This is their Quran saying, Allah never, never, He never sent, not even one. Any messenger, unless he send him to his own people, speaking the language of his people in their tongue. So how Muhammad is going to be international messenger? One of you is a stupid, either the one who made this verse, or you Muslims, choose one. Muslim.